Hi, I'm Kate from Pagefly, ready to take your Shopify store to the next level. Today, we're going to explore the magic of the Add to Cart button in Pagefly. Placing this button in the right spot on your product details page can significantly boost your sales. Let's dive into the video by exploring how to access Shopify product Add to Cart. Here is the page editor. There is already a product details element to add the product add to cart element inside. Navigate to the left toolbar. Click the add element icon, choose Shopify, and you can find the product add to cart element here. There are three options that you can choose. I will pick this option, then drag and drop it into the product details element. Moving on, I will show you some add to cart element configuration. If you add the Add to Cart button into a product details element, the product source will be set to Auto. To modify the product source, simply click on Product Details. It can be set as Custom Product here. Then choose the desired product from the options available. Now, let's do some general settings. Firstly, with the After Add to Cart action, you can choose where customer will go after clicking the button. There are four options under the drop-down menu I will choose Go to Cart Page. Next, you can change the button type here. I will choose Text with Icon. Click on the icon and select an icon you want here. Then you can change the button text. There are three options that follow steps a customer interact with the button. Adding text will show when the cart is loading. Once the product is added to cart successfully, added text will show, and if your products is sold out, the sold out text will automatically show Customers cannot click on the button. You can also set the icon position here, left or right. In the case you want to show the button full width in this column, choose yes for enable full width. Switch to styling tab to make the button more prominent. First, I will adjust the margin, then change the font family, font size, font weight, change the background color and border radius. Now I will customize the mouse over state by changing the background color. The button will look like this. Finally, I will guide you how to add dynamic checkout button. Now I will add a dynamic checkout button under the add to cart button. Firstly, you need to add HTML liquid element under the button. Click open code editor here and add this code inside it. You can get the code in the description box. Then adjust the margin for the button. Now I will save and publish the page. And show you how the page look on live view. As you can see, adding and customizing the add to cart button is straightforward and can be done in just a few clicks. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials and contact us via live chat 24 seven if you need any assistance. Thanks for watching.